Coral. Hi, and I'm Lindsay. And we're here to answer the internet's most asked questions about stair lifts. We have absolutely no clue what the questions are, so let's just dive in. Let's ready? go, let's go. Okay, let's go. Ah. Let's go. Right, first question. Are oh, it's worth it? Are oh. oh, it's worth what? Having? <laughs> I think they are worth it rather than sort of having the alternative or the, any yeah. kind of alternative really. Yeah. Um, they're worth it because it eliminates a false risk on the stairs where somebody is quite unsteady. Yes. And on the um, stairs themselves, they are the worst place in the house to have a, a more An serious accident. Absolutely. Yeah, a false yeah. risk. Um, a lot of people struggle with the stairs for far too long. But do you know what? If we had a pound oh, for family, every time, every time oh. we had heard a customer say, um, oh, do you know what? I wish I'd had one earlier. Yes. Um, it's frustrating. Yeah, well, it is mean? frustrating. People do wait way too long or yeah. they do wait to, until they've had an accident. Yes. Um, yeah. um, so, no, it is definitely, definitely worth it. Yeah. Um, Get one fitted. <gasps> Next question. Okay. <laughs> right, okay. How okay. does, does the stair lift, lift get, get power? power? Oh, okay. So the stair lifts are all battery operated, so they've yep. got batteries inside the carriage part. So you've got rail, the carriage, which has the got seat. the motor in it, and then the seat on top. Um, the stair lift is battery operated, but it has to have some sort of power source going to it. But it's um, not like a little AA battery, is no, it? No, no, big one. Big one. <laughs> Big like carriage batteries. Yeah. yeah. So you would have uh, normally at the top of the stairs a power point nearby, and the there would be a battery charging unit that would go from the power point into the battery charger, which then feeds into the charge stations mm -hmm. on the rail. So you normally get a park like a charging station at the top, park and charge it at the top, and park and charge it at the bottom of the stairs. And there are some that have continuous charge. There are, yes. And you can get extra charge points, but I won't yes. all that. Yeah, yeah. I won't but, bore you. Yeah, mm. how a stair lift gets power from a main socket through a battery charging unit, so it's a constant trickle charge. Um, it doesn't take up a lot of cost on electricity. No. Um, but you do need to make sure that you keep it switched on at all times. Yes. Otherwise, you're going to have an expensive repair bill for a set of new batteries. Yes. So leave it switched on. Okay, next. I'm glad you answered that. Do you stair lifts need a wall? Um, no. Um, and that is a very good question. We do get asked this quite a lot. Because yes. people do presume that lifts stair lifts are attached to the wall yeah um but they're not they are actually attached to the treads yes so normally top middle and bottom it's like straight. yeah yeah <laughs> but no they're on brackets um so it's normally say four it depends on yeah. the length of your stairs mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um normally three four screws in each bracket yeah um so it so, screws directly through the carpet yes and into the wood of the stairs yes Yes. Um, so yeah, stairs do not need a wall because they all have the force of gravity and they all attach to the stairs. Yes. Okay. okay. Oh wow. Okay. Right. Oh. Can stair lifts go around bends? Yes. <laughs> so we've got yes, any curved staircase. Spiral. Literally, we yeah. have one in our showroom. Come and take a look. It literally, you can get them. You yeah. can have them parked down the hallway, parked right outside your bedroom. Yeah, yeah. If if it's possible, of course. You can also possible. have um, multi-flight stairs. As yes. Well. So say you've got three-story house, story, yeah. townhouse, three-story house. Yeah. Um. So what we can do is we can have a park and charge point at the bottom, so you can get off. And another one where you can park it sort of and mid landing in the, in the yeah. middle floor, yeah, and then also up to the top. I think curved stairs can go up to about 37 meters, so we can have any mm. amount of bends. I think we did a block of flats once which had about six stories going up. Um, so yeah, they can definitely go around bends, yes. <laughs> Okay. So these questions are 
impressions look like they're the same. Okay. So do stair lift damaged, damaged carpet, carpet and do stair lift damaged wood stairs. So if we take the carpet one first then. Okay. Um, so all of the stair lifts are fixed to the stairs like we just said. Yep. So we've got screw holes that go through the carpet. When the stair lift is removed, uh -huh. then you would normally um, have a few screw holes that you could see were visible. Quite often though, if you sort of rub the pile of the carpet, um, those screw holes can actually be hidden. Yeah, um, but it's like indentations when you move furniture, it's like yeah, indentation of the carpets, well, yeah. it then comes, you, yeah, it will yeah. gradually go, I think. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and the next question, do stair lifts damage wood stairs? Um, again, as we said, the, um, the, the goes through the stair treads Same. themselves yeah yeah um we'd have to get a good enough fix and we have done open plan sort of staircases before where the treads are open yeah um, so there's no back to them yeah. if that makes sense um yeah. yeah so we would screw into the wooden staircase we have to be able to fix it to the staircase so we'd have to drill we into it we would have to drill into we'd, it we do it with um smaller screws than yes. normal um, but, but we you would will have, have to go through there, so you would get screw holes. a few small yeah. screw holes there. Yeah. Um, it may be that if you were removing it at a later date, then it could be filled over perhaps yeah, um, with wood filler or something, I don't know. Yeah. Um, and we yeah. can go through concrete stairs and actually just, just in case for those of you that have, I mm -hmm. don't unfortunately have, but underfloor heating, yes. we can yeah. still, because we won't, because it's in the ground, we can put like a special plate. So even if you do have underfloor heating, there are ways and means around that. So don't yeah. let that discourage you. We can yeah. still do that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So there we go. Well, I think that's a lot of questions yes, for this it is. Um, yes. So we'll see you on the next episode. Um, don't forget to like our channel, subscribe, like the videos, and um, we'll see you the next time. Okay, bye. bye.